Hi, my name is Ryan James Gilroy, and this is The Rise of the Shogun, a Japanese artwork presentation on the Edo era, otherwise known as the Tokugawa era of Japan. Following the warring feudal period of Japan, the Edo era was founded by Tokugawa Tsunuyoshi. Depicted here, the first shogun of the Edo era would found a government that would strive to follow in Confucian principles and maintain peace across Japan. The Tokugawa family would remain in power until the mid-1800s, passing down the title of shogun throughout their family. The contrasting colors surrounding the shogun, along with the sharp lines that make up his form, give him an idealized presence with pure white skin and a strong, broad build. During this time period, many artists focus on landscape artwork. This type of vertical portrayal, as compared to the horizontal landscape tradition, was very popular in Japan due to the hanging scroll media. Here we can see a village depicted on a mountain range, drawn with a realistic yet dreamlike and hazy style. Thanks to the peaceful reign of the Tokugawan government, cities were able to grow and flourish, leaving citizens cut off from nature in a way. Due to this, the artists used a dreamlike form in order to give the city dwellers a form to the nature they could only see in their dreams. Though the Tokugawan government established a time of peace, there were still samurai present in the lands of Japan. Again portrayed in a vertical style due to the hanging scroll media, this warrior is draped with red garments, equipped with a red bow and red sword sheath. This bright, fiery color was common depicted with warriors as it symbolized their warrior spirit. Samurai became a rarity in the Edo period, allowing the artist's dream-like theme to encompass them as well. Here, the background resembles a cloud setting, giving the warrior an appearance of standing on the heavens. The Tokugawa government issued a no-sword policy, meaning that any old samurai would either have to join up with the government or were forced to be on their own as outlaws. This samurai, again draped in red apparel, can be seen fleeing into a river, which can be symbolized towards the government pushing out the old samurai ways. This time period also gave way to a very erotic collection of artwork being displayed. Like much of the art of this time, all of these erotic scenes were depicted in a very realistic style. A popular trend was to make sure that the erotic scenes were depicted as romantic instead of just completely vulgar. With that being said, this was the only image I selected due to the others being strangely fascinated in the human genitalia. The woman can be seen as the emphasis of this piece as her clothes contrast the background and the male she's with. As with any other group of people, the Edo period population was fascinated and awed by the power nature had. The ocean surrounding Japan commanded respect from the sailors, as seen here with the boats being tossed around carelessly by the waves. The smooth lines that begin at the right of the picture give the waves a feeling of grace and smoothness, but as they reach up into the gray skies above, even surpassing Mount Fuji in the background, a sense of power builds until at the peak that power is released into the cascading waves frozen in time. The looming presence of the wave over the boats can also be seen as a foreshadow to the downfall of the Edo era, or the Tokugawan rule. Around the time this piece was created, many issues within the Tokugawan government had begun to arise, including poor management and rebels spurring up across the nation. 
Within the next 40 years, the Tokugawa government suffered a bloody revolution and a transition into the new Meiji era. The beauty of nature was also held in high regard in Edo, Japan. This serene waterfall depiction exemplifies how beautiful Japan actually was and how much it was valued by its people. This is just one of the artist's collection of waterfalls that span across all of Japan. This love for nature brought about many principles of sustainable living methods in Edo, Japan. The Edo era was a time of great peace, cultural growth, and economic growth, all thanks to the rise of the Shogun.